feels to be alone. I know how it feels to be around people and feel alone. Like, I'll be around a million people and I'll, like, still feel alone. Still trying to maintain, same things that a blue bitch might frame. My brain can't fathom what the hate say. He say, she say, how about me say, get a V say, headed to the islands, ASAP. What's it on my shorty wrist, that's an AP. I'm not tired to save a bitch, C-A-P. Feeling like E.T. Flying out of the Eddie, fucking on shorty, she back. If I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I wanna make sure that my life made at least five million kids Happy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And by the title of this video, like, you know, like what you're getting yourself into, and you know what it's gonna be about. Um, just for viewers who don't know anything, um, this will not be a very happy video or a very like a normal video where I'd be like all over the place laughing and stuff. This is actually a pretty um sad video so just a disclaimer before we get started so as you guys know by the title of this video um this is on xxx and on june 18th uh he was murdered and basically i wasn't gonna make a video about this because um i just felt as people uh began to make videos or you know have been shocked by the news um like I am Dante and stuff um, I couldn't I wasn't able to do that because I was just all over the place with emotion and I was just a mess um, so yeah so learning about the news of X's passing well I, I don't call it a pa passing he was literally murdered and um, if you go like to different news media outlets and like you read about it or something they say he just passed away but literally he did not peacefully pass away and yeah I was able to make the video sooner because I was just this whole week has been very gloomy for me I've been very depressed and yeah it just doesn't seem real I'm just gonna talk about the day I found out and I'm also going going to talk about what you know just what I'm thinking and stuff the first video after I haven't been uploading for a little bit was gonna be about my graduation and yes I graduated from high school um, and it was gonna be a video just talking about that and talking about the colleges and stuff like just all about my future now that I'm a graduate but um, and I graduated on Saturday the 16th so on Sunday we had some family stuff to do and then on Monday was my first official day of summer so uh, that was the 18th so basically the whole day I was just you know chilling in my bed getting ready to make a video about graduation and stuff like that and my mom sent me a um, screenshot of a TMZ post that said that X had gotten shot and when I first saw it uh, there's a part of me that's like a conspiracy theorist kind of and I don't really trust the news that much so when I first saw that I was just like that can't be true and then uh, that can't be true sorry and then I went to Twitter and I went to Google and I was just looking up to see if like they could follow up with it you know but it was so early and like early in like it was so fresh on TMZ that uh, there wasn't like any people like updating on it so um, I went to the actual TMZ link and they had a video and I watched that video and I literally cannot get that image out of my head um, it was just just don't watch the video if you haven't like if you're a true X fan um, yeah it, it can't be unseen but um, I went to the comments because I thought people were gonna be like oh my gosh like I can't believe this this is happening but literally no there were disgusting comments underneath that video people celebrating people excited people happy they're like um, ha I'm so excited or something like that and that really that's the first part that made my heart just sink down um, and I really wasn't ready to, you know, I, I can't believe people could be so disgusting and so vile, especially seeing someone like that in the video. Like, how could you, you know, act like that or just comment stuff like that 
only an evil person just like I am Dante uh, was saying only really or not I am Dante I don't know someone some other people have made videos on this I can't think of the other guys name that I watched but like what kind of evil person really comments that kind of stuff on this kind of thing you know so um, I was I never gave up hope though Sam Pepper he was really um, like right after he saw the freaking crap because on all the TMZ stuff they didn't say that he was like he died or anything they just said you know he was just found no pulse and stuff like that so I never lost hope from the time that I saw that and um, I'm a very I'm a Christian and I believe in God and I instantly just started praying and I just you know just kept on praying for hope and stuff that you know he could pull through because you sometimes people can pull through and when I look at X as a person just as like watching interviews watching his Instagram lives watching his music videos and stuff just him as a person like me seeing from media and stuff um, he's he is a strong person to me and um, he's one of those artists where you look at and you're just like he he's going far you know he's strong nothing can really face him or get in the way so I I believe that he was a strong person so he can get past anything any anything that you know comes at him after that after my praying and stuff uh, my mom came home and then we we're just talking about it and just making like you know having some reassurance having like you know talking about it and then my mom looked at her phone and looked up t at me and she told me that he passed away and yeah it doesn't I can finally say that you know without really tearing up because it's so it's kind of not really that long long ago but I, I'm at that point first I was shock then I was sadness depression then I'm just now I, I don't know how to really I don't know how to label what I'm feeling now but um I just couldn't believe it the first feeling that I felt was shock and then what really gets my emotions going and the waterworks and stuff like the tears like I just couldn't I couldn't really talk or really express what I was feeling when I first heard and I sat on the steps and just was looking on down at my phone uh, hoping that the news that she just read was not true and when my sister came out I told her the news and that's when everything that's when I started crying and I just could not, not stop crying and it was just a lot of emotion because um, I've been an ex-fan for a while and I just really believed in his come up I believed in you know everything he did his music was something else like if you ever listen to X and his variety of music that he produces it's all beautiful and as a person he's beautiful if you um, when he started uploading on YouTube um, I was so happy that he started uploading because it makes it more personable and um, when I watched his videos that he made talking about positivity talking about love it was just so beautiful and that's really he's just a very genuine artist and that's what I really loved about him same with his with his music um, I really felt every single like lyric he was saying and it just really opened my eyes to a different realm of music that I did not know was out there um, even with his hyped up music with all the like the rage and the you know there was music for really every single occasion especially in my life um, and I really really just started listening to him really hard from these past two years and yeah just hearing that he's gone um, was really hard for me and I could not process it I still can't process it there's still a part of me that really hopes and what I don't like is how some people put up posts like oh he's not dead he's not dead and that stuff is like false hope and I just I don't know why people do it maybe just for the clout but um I literally hate when people do that and it, it puts false hope in me that's just like the kind of person I am but still I just cannot really believe that he's gone and I really don't like how on Twitter 
there was like a huge debate on whether like oh you're gonna you're gonna support this person because he did this in his past um that one youtuber i'm sorry i cannot remember his name his name will pop up on the screen but he put it perfectly like in your life you have time to right your wrongs and i know that x has done some stuff in the past but literally he did it when he was a kid and i know that a lot of people in their life has have done stuff when they're a kid that they don't like that what your past does not define who you are now and he never got the chance to really third like um he's done multiple stuff right now like you know in the past year that really showed people that he's a changing person and he's uh, all about positivity all about love and stuff but he didn't get the full time that you know people would get to really show that he is a different person and his past has not defined him just like uh, with Chris Brown with his incident with um Rihanna you know that kind of it does like we, we don't live in a forgiving world we live in a disgusting world so not everyone will be open to you as a person but they sometimes forgive and are less you know harsh on you but x never got the opportunity to really get out of that hole of just people hate him so much and i, I honestly do not know why people hate him so much but I loved him as a person. I feel like I lost somebody close to, like, close to my, like, I thought, I feel like I lost somebody in my life. And his music really made you feel like you were close to him and you were just someone in his life. So maybe that's why I, I'm feeling this way. I feel like I lost a family member, you know. I completely loved him, as you saw from, like, my videos that I made about his music. And it just sucks. And it's not fair. So time heals. So I'm not fully there yet. But um, as I am Dante said, like things have to continue. But I will always remember X. Um, and I will, you know, really implement him into my channel. It just doesn't make any sense that he had all of these things planned. All of these beautiful things like the charity he was going to do this Saturday. He had all of these big milestones he was going to hit and that could just all be changed by one thing. And that really scares me, especially how he's only 20 years old. I'm 18. I'm only two years younger. And that could very well happen to me. And that just scares me that death is so obsolete and can happen at any time. And still, as a, hum as a human race, we're still shocked by it because you think that time... You think that you have a lot of time, but really you don't. And yeah, I'll just always remember X, Jose, Onfroy. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. And, you know, that's it. Boy, me down to sleep. Pray the Lord my soul to keep. Hope's not too late for me.